Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another Saving Grace uh, Connect Online. Uh, today's guest is a long-term member of Saving Grace Church, uh, Chris Baum. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. It's great to have you. And today we're going to talk a lot about um, Chris's passion for life and her involvement with Lifeway Pregnancy Center. So can you just tell us a bit about the Pregnancy Center, how you got involved originally, how long you've been doing it, those sort of things? Okay, well, Lifeway has been in existence for 30 years. This is our 30th anniversary, and I've been a part of Lifeway for 29 years and six months. I got on board six months after it started. Wow. Yeah, so I have done everything from scrub the floors to sit on the board and all the stuff in between. Yes. So I've sort of um, done a little bit of everything with Lifeway. And what's like the, the vision of Lifeway? The vision of Lifeway is um, twofold. First of all, it's to minister to families in pregnancy situations. So in other words, we're ministering to the unborn mm -hmm. and to their families, their you know, moms and dads, the children, you know, the siblings that come along with that. And also to show people the love of Jesus Christ through practical steps. When Jesus was here on earth, that's what he did. He met a physical need, and that opened a door for him to talk about the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do at Lifeway. Yeah. We meet a physical need, first and foremost. That's what brings people in the door. But then we talk about Jesus, and we talk about how Jesus needs to be a part of their lives. Um, most of the girls that come through our doors aren't Christian when mm -hmm. they walk in the doors because they're looking for help in a situation that is unexpected in most sure. instances. Yeah. So it's a good opportunity to share the love of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. both physically and then spiritually. And at times you will really invest in people's lives for years at times, yes. correct? Yes, we have um, long-term friends. We have moms, who, we, when you're around 30 years, you get the opportunity to see the outcome. Yeah. We've had moms who maybe the individual started off as one of our girls, very young, and she is now a mom and a wife and a nurse in a NICU. We've had babies who we've watched grow through the years who they're now 30 years old and they're in ministry. They are preaching the word of God to other people. But that's all come from Lifeway. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it seems like building relationships is a huge part of it. Really part is. Of that as it well. really is a, a large part. Most of our girls come back and either serve as volunteers or um, they talk about Lifeway. They are our greatest asset because they send their friends and they send other people and they are out there in the world now mm -hmm. living their lives and they come across somebody who is in the situation they were in years ago, right. and they send them to us. Yeah, so let's go in a time machine a little bit and go back 29 and a half years ago when you first got involved. What, what led you to get involved with Lifeway, and how did that come about? Well, we were, um, Lifeway had just started. It was a very small organization in Latrobe. Um, some friends of mine and I had taken some training classes for um, a crisis pregnancy hotline out of Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and it was the weirdest thing my husband ran into um, a friend of his at an auto parts store and said they started a conversation and um, the friend said oh yeah my wife does this thing with crisis pregnancy centers and because he had heard me talking about it yeah. just the week before he said oh my wife does something like that and came home and said hey why don't you call such and such and mm -hmm. That's how I found out about Lifeway, and been there I've been there ever since. <laughs> That's right. I didn't have to go to Pittsburgh. I have, have it in my own backyard. Um, so are there some foundational scriptures as you think about life and caring for women and, and even the, the fathers at times? What, what are some of the motivating scriptures that, that drive you? There are. There are several, actually. Um, I think Psalm 139, where it says, For you created my innermost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. In the, 
All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. And I think that just speaks of God's love for the unborn. Mm -hmm. He knows them. He knit them together. He ordained their days before they were born. Yeah. So that should be our opinion, our way of looking at the mm -hmm. unborn, yeah. that they are already a creation of the Lord right. and worth value, just yes. like we are. Yeah, creating him. God's image, reflecting right. exactly. um, his exactly. image. Exactly. And um, while there are many scriptures um, that talk about how God formed us, you know, Jeremiah 1, 5 says the same thing. But I also um, think that Proverbs 24, 11 is um, a call to action. It says, rescue those being led to death. Hold back those staggering towards slaughter. If you say, but we knew nothing about this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who guards your life know it? Will he not repay each person according to what he has done? And to me, that's a call to action. Mm -hmm. That means you can't just sit along the sidelines and do nothing. Mm -hmm. You have to do something. Just like if you saw somebody jumping off a bridge, you or attempting to, you would do something to right. stop them. Sure. This is the same thing. Women are at a point of crisis. They are at a place of not knowing what to do. They are at a place of being um, unsure about the future and concerned. And there's a lot of lies in the world today. There's a lot of places where um, information isn't always accurate. Lifeway tends to be a place that's accepting. Come in, talk to us. Let us minister to mm -hmm. you. Let us tell you that there is, there's a way. Right. And we want to walk with you through that way. Yeah. Sure. So that's our, you know, the scriptures are call to action. Mm -hmm. Lifeway is the result of that action. Yeah, and it, and I know you have encountered this probably numerous times over the years, that women in this, these situations often are getting all kinds of conflicting advice they from are. parents, from spouses, uh, spouses or people they trust, yes. um, right. encouraging them to terminate the, the pregnancy at times, right. and you're trying to, to get in there and intervene. Right. right, and we're trying to say, you know, if you don't see the way, that's okay. Mm -hmm. God has a way, first of all. Right. And we're here to be part of that way. Yeah. We're here to help. Yeah, and one of the things that, that I, I know about the organization and I really love is you also have care for those who have, have aborted children oh, as yes. well. So can we just Definitely. talk about that a little bit? Sure, sure. We have, um, there's always someone who um, comes to us and says, but I've already done this thing. This has already happened. God can't love me. But yes, he can because there's always forgiveness in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. No matter what it is that you need forgiven for. And we have counselors available and classes and we take them through a workbook and a whole series of, um, and we're right there with them. Mm -hmm. We walk right there with them through it and we pray through it. And um, many, of, many of our girls have come back and said that was a turning point in their life when they could understand the forgiveness of Jesus Christ and the blood of Christ. They could now go on with their life mm -hmm. to fulfillment. Yeah, and it's um, it's very possible somebody watching could be in that same situation, right. either right. a woman who participated or a man who encouraged. Right, um, right. And, and there and is we, hope in the gospel. There is. There's always hope in Jesus Christ. And whether it be that or it be something else, we all fall short of the glory of God, each in our own way. There's always hope. There's always forgiveness, and we work with both women and men, mm -hmm. um, just like you said, and there's always, there's always someone there at the end of the phone, at the end of a counseling session. There's someone there who understands, and I think that's the biggest part. You know, a lot of women think nobody understands what I went through. Nobody understands why I had to do this. Nobody understands, but we do understand. Mm -hmm. We have counselors who have been through the same thing. Yeah, and are trying to do that proverb that you just read of take action yes, and really right. um, do their part for mm -hmm. sure. Yep. Uh, 
from looking at the website, there's a number of different educational programs and things that happen, let's say in non-COVID times that, right. um, explain a little bit just the idea that the baby bucks, I think is what it's called. Yes, and, yes it is. Um, one of the things that I watched on the video was, um, I forget the woman's name, but she basically said, we don't want to just give people stuff and, and kind of forget them. We, we want to be really involved. And so when right. we give stuff, we, we also are trying to build a relationship at the same time. Right. We, I, I think the best way to describe this is um, you had a couple gentlemen on a couple weeks ago who were um, starting a church in Greensburg. Mm -hmm. They were talking about how they wanted to minister to that community. Well, Lifeway has its own community. It's a community of women who have um, either unborn children or children, and it's a community that we're ministering to. Mm -hmm. And whatever it is they need is what we want to provide. Lifeway has changed over the years. At one time, um, the support that was needed was housing, so we provided housing. Okay. Now the support is more things like we need baby clothes, we need baby bottles, we need diapers, we need cribs, we need car seats, those kinds of things. So when you come to Lifeway, the first thing you'll do is you'll meet with a counselor and then we'll do a little intake interview and we'll see what your needs are that we might be able to meet. And then as you go through parenting classes, if that's your need, when you go through infant and child CPR classes, if that's part of your need, if you go through, um, we have cooking classes and classes for budgeting and how to fill out an application and all kinds of life skill classes. Every time you come and take a class, or right now online, take a class, we give you baby bucks. It's like we pay you for coming. And then you can spend all those baby bucks in our mother's room where we have clothes and diapers and bottles and car seats and all those kinds of things available. Yeah, and one of the things I love about it is you're, you're really trying to equip for life, too. Yes, so there's a real exactly. practical discipleship. That's right. Aspect. And we have a lot of times um, some of the organizations, uh, maybe someone has um, CYS involved in their life, or they have, you know, a court order to do some kind of parenting classes. We have those individuals, um, they're assigned a caseworker, and we have caseworkers bringing their clients to us, which is a great, um, a great tie to many parts of the community that probably wouldn't be you know, in our local area, where you know, in the local area, that we have girls that come from all over. Yeah, and who are in, sounds like, very difficult, challenging situations. Yes, so. sometimes. Uh, how has COVID, I know COVID has affected everything, so how has it affected what Lifeway is doing, and how have you guys adjusted to it? Well, we have done, as the church has done, put many of our programs online. We managed to do some streaming, and um, a streaming program that we just purchased, um, a subscription costs us about a hundred dollars a month, but it's been amazing because many of our girls, it actually works better for them because they don't come in all the time to the center. We've sort of spread them out a little bit more, yeah. so there's not as many people in the building at any one time. But they can do a lot of their homework online. Um, they watch a video. They they answer the questions. They still talk to their counselors through a Zoom meeting or whatever, and. Um, but they don't always have to have the transportation to get into the center. Yeah, so in some ways, maybe it's a little In some more. ways, it has helped us. Our banquet this year was another example. Um, we have a couple banquets every year. We have two. We have one in Greensburg, and we have one in Indiana. And with COVID this year, all of a sudden, there were restrictions on how many people you could have in a room, and, and people didn't want to come. And uh, So we did a virtual banquet as well, and we had watch parties. So where we thought our banquet was going to be very um, poorly attended and maybe our donations would be down, mm -hmm. actually the opposite was true. We had just as many people, some in person, some virtually, and our donations were really just as good as they were last wow. year and even a little bit higher. Yeah. So it's been amazing. That's awesome. And uh, talk a little bit about this. I'm holding a, a baby bottle in my hand. Uh, this is... Uh, a baby bottle that has a Lifeway informational thing inside and something we hand out in the church uh, during this time of year. So could you just talk a little bit about sure. that campaign and what it is? The baby bottle campaign is a way to um, be involved with Lifeway. 
Um, you can put your change in there. You can put a check in there. It's a great way, though, for your kids to be involved. It's a great way for youth groups to be involved, um, where you put your change in there, and then we will collect them at the end of um, January. Actually, you can bring them in any time. And, um, and that money goes directly to Lifeway, and we we'll use it to minister to women and children. Yeah, and it's a, a fun one that we have participated in for a number of years at mm -hmm. church. And I was telling Chris uh, before we started filming, I have three children. And so we just sat the, the baby bottle in our dining room, said, hey, guys, why don't you just consider just getting your own money and giving to it. And then one by one, they came and were stuffing money in the baby bottle. That's great. And um, just so the whole family can be involved. Right. And it's action. It's Jesus's action. It's our it's God's hands and feet. Yeah. It's his voice and his love in action here in the world right. and that's what we're called to do yeah and lifeway is a nonprofit organization totally. so it, you are dependent on your banquet giving and the baby correct. bottle campaigns that to, is correct to have the resources that you have yes we are totally um, volunteer sponsored um, we are totally dependent on um, giving from the community and from churches and from individuals as well as businesses we take no money from the federal or state government so we have total um, freedom to talk about Jesus anytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is great. Yes, it is. Uh, what, what are some of the other needs? Uh, so finances are always welcome. Uh, volunteer help? Volunteer help right now is a little on the, we don't need as much because we're not meeting as many people in the facility right now. But once COVID's over, that will change, obviously. So volunteers are always welcome. Um, to come fill out an application, take a tour of the facilities. We, like I said, we have an office here in Indiana and we have one in La Trobe as well. And um, we're always looking for donations of baby clothes. Um, unfortunately, we can't, can't take car seats anymore because of the expiration dates oh, on them. Of safety. Yeah. yeah, so, but um, that's always um, a ministry praying. Please pray for Lifeway. Um, what would be some specific things for people watching that they could be praying for? Well, one of the specific things right now is that um, we have a family that um, we're helping with. Um, they are an international family at IUP. They have a couple children already, and they are in need. Um, the husband needs an extra job to help make the ends meet. Um, so that would be something great if you would pray for that job to come through. Um, we're always praying for our women, for our girls, that they would come to know the love of Christ. We don't push Jesus on them, but when they're ready to talk about Jesus, we're talking mm -hmm. about Jesus. So open hearts, open lives um, is always a prayer request for our girls. And I love that you're loving them with action no matter where they are in their Correct. their faith and trying to figure That's things right. out. Yep. Which is a beautiful, I mean, that's exactly, as you said, what the Lord has that's done right. when he was on earth. Yep. And we've had lots of appointments. Even though um, COVID has hit, we still had 614 appointments. We still had um, parenting classes, 162 parenting classes. We still had 53 nursery appointments this year. We had 18 babies born. Okay, wow. Yeah, so we have 57 children in our program right now that we're um, ministering to. So, so things have remained very active. It, it has remained very active. Time. Yeah, we've, we're doing the social distancing thing and the cleaning everything and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So even that in itself is always, it's more expensive, obviously. You have sure. to buy all these wipes and all this other stuff. So um, we have our challenges, but mm -hmm. I think God has been incredibly faithful to us. Yeah, and Chris, you're, you're such a, a provoking example. I think it's, it's, it's um, one thing to get involved with something that's a good cause it's a totally another thing to do it year after year yeah. after year. So what would you say, like, what motivates you for the endurance side of this ministry? Oh, that's easy, to see the results. Mm -hmm. To see somebody come to the love of Jesus Christ, to accept Christ. To see that baby that was crawling around on the floor who's now standing in a pulpit talking about the love of God mm -hmm. to someone else. It's easy to keep going when you see what God's doing. Yeah, it just motivates you. It does. It does to keep going. When you see that mom, you know, um, when I was on the hotline, we used to have a 24-hour hotline, 
I'd get calls from moms, you know, three o'clock in the morning. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. When you can talk to someone and you can, and I've had, I've had them come back and say, thank you. Just thank you for calming me down enough that I could think clearly mm -hmm. because now I have my baby in my arms. Yeah. You know, it's, it motivates you for way more than a year or two years yeah. or 10 years or 30. And so it gives you faith for what the Lord it does. can do when the young mom walks into that. Yes, the, the meeting definitely, place, right? definitely. Um, w would you mind uh, just closing us out in prayer just for um, life in our region and mm -hmm. for uh, just all the, the complications that are happening right now? Okay. Father, I just lift this area to you Lifeway, the women that come through the door, the women that will come through the door, those who are hesitant to come through the door. Father, I ask that you would soften hearts, that you would bring to Lifeway those you would have, hear your word, those we would minister to, Lord. I pray, Father, for life on the whole, that you would help people to see clearly your heart for the unborn, your heart for the lost, that we would have compassion, that we would be motivated to action. I pray, Father, that the spirit of death would have no place in this area, that it would be pushed back, that your light would so shine that there would be no darkness. Father, thank you for all the things you have done these many years through Lifeway and through Life Choices and through all the other pregnancy centers in this country. I pray, Lord, strengthen us. Provide for us. Meet the needs, Lord. And raise people up, Lord, to continue, to continue to meet those needs. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and your grace to us. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus Christ, who has forgiven all of our sins. Thank you, Lord, that you love us, that you are concerned for us, that you have a concern for the unborn and the lost. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us, Chris. If you, you. want to find out more about Lifeway, you can go to uh, Google and just Google Lifeway Pregnancy Center, and the website will come up, and there's a lot of resources and a, a video all about the organization on the yeah. website. If you know Chris, she would be happy to talk to you about it as I well. I would. And I just want to thank you for being a part of Lifeway. This church supports Lifeway, so each and every one of you are already a part of Lifeway. So thank you for that. Thank you for continuing to support us. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching.